Hello people, it's me, TF32. You may be wondering why you're looking at a picture of me looking really worried. Well, it's because back in my other Konami games review on March 3rd, I, f I reviewed a bunch of classic games, yes, but there was a game that I forgot to mention that is actually in that game, YY World. The name of that game is Moai Kun, and it's about this, um, it's about this Moai head, and it's a bit of a puzzle game, and I forgot to show it, because I was focusing on all the other major characters. Moai, who appeared in that game, he was just, as many of you know, he's a character from the Greatest series, and everybody knows he's been enemy in almost every game, and nobody knows why he's even a playable character in YY World. Why not any of the others that were not in there that I mentioned in my other Konami games review? I do not know the answer to that, but I will show you... Just to make up for all this, I'm going to show you the game Moai Kun right now. And I've actually never played before, but I'll just do a blind run of it to show you guys. So, here we go. So this here is Moai Kun. It was only released in Japan. Of course, I'm playing the original only Japanese version. So I think you're supposed to... Crap, I think I got a reset. This is a, this is a puzzle game. And I think it requires a bunch of save states if you're going to win. And I think you're supposed to collect these pink faces and then go into the door. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. There are some hacks of it, like a Mario styled one, but I'm just here to mention the uh the the original one. The levels can be a little bit tougher as they go, but, but once you get the hang of it, it really isn't that bad. Now, is there a time limit? Yeah, there is, and that time limit runs fast as it. Wow, pretty fast time limit, I should say. Yeah, you don't lose life. Ah, but too bad, I died. Oh god, he's getting close. Uh, is there any way to, like, get back up there? Maybe I should just intentionally die. And then start over. Yeah, let's try doing that. So apparently I went the wrong way. Oh, I think I get what the idea is. One, two, three. Now quickly, get in the door. There we go, I'm gonna do one more level. I just need to hurry. This isn't really a, an episode, I just wanted to show you. And it seems that the music changes. Oh, and, and as you can see, just like in Konami YY World, you can use that attack. Now, how exactly am I supposed to get up there? Let's take a look at this again. 
Oh, you can light bombs too? That's sweet. But oh, you gotta do it at the right time, otherwise... It doesn't work. You gotta light right here. Thankfully, the bombs don't hurt you. I think I guess I see what the idea is. Can you attack these guys? Yes, you can. I forgot that you can use that as an attack. I really gotta do this quickly. And... Okay, almost done. And... Um... How am I supposed to do this? Oh, I see. You're supposed to hit these blocks right up here. And yeah, you can control yourself in mid-air. There we go. I see what they're aiming for. Once again, this is a blind run. This is my first time playing this. Enemies reappear. Wow, I never knew that. Uh... Okay, let's try this again. So, we dropped the bomb right there. Push this boulder over here. Wow, you can't hit enemies when they're on the edge of the screen. That sucks. So, let's see. What was I missing here? I guess I see what I'm supposed to do, but... Yeah, I had to look up how to get past here. It appears that you can break these blue blocks over here. And... Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. And... Hold on a second. So, yeah. That's pretty much how it's done. So, I hope you enjoyed this short blind run. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and until the next review, see you later.